Okay, I have a question. Have yeah. any of y'all ever peed on your partner? No. R. Kelly them? No. For real? I, I peed know. on somebody and he peed on me too. We oh, were in the shower. It was a little <laughs> okay, that Oh, girls want to be slutted out by their man. By my man, For I sure. wouldn't mind that. Raise your hand if you want to be slutted out by your man. Why we got to raise our hand? <laughs> Because <laughs> I need we to know. We already talked about it all. <laughs> I don't want to be peed on, though. They oh, want yeah. their man to that take them fun. to their stream. Yeah. Yeah. If the girl yeah. doesn't yeah. say to you, I don't know if I could oh, do this, yeah. you're not like, asking enough. Correct. Why not? For sure. yeah. I feel that whatever you do in the bed with the woman you love and or man that you love is your business. Whatever you turns you on, man, knock yourself out, bro. We in Miami, Jay. We in Miami. We in Miami, Jay. We in Miami. Real Miami. Yeah, 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 what it do? It's your boy Stunt Lifestyle, and you were watching the We in Miami podcast. We in Miami. And today, man, we getting lit. It's another beautiful day in Miami. We got some very, very special guests in the building. We got the one and only Shay Johnson hey. in the building. We got Y'all the. Better show me some love, ladies. What's yeah, good? what's up? <laughs> don't be sitting there like you don't hey. know. Y'all looking cute hey. now, but give me some love. For the people that's been hiding on the rock that haven't turned on. VH1, MTV, or none of that, and seen her on all these reality shows. She's been everywhere, loving hip hop, flavor, love. She was the original. <laughs> Thank you for my flowers. Yes, we give you flowers yeah. over here. True queen, <laughs> yes. We got the one and only Julian queen. in the building. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Industry yes. legend in here. What's good? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Julian Booth, silent assassin, you know, Mr. to make you famous. Uh, I star on the show, Loving Hip Hop Miami with Shay. Um, I've managed and worked with like pretty much the entire Miami, you know, from Pitbull to Trick Daddy to Trina to Plows to Rick Ross to Amara. Um, just everybody, man. Anybody in Miami, I'm just the uh, I'm the guy you see first. Yeah, and we got some beautiful models and ladies in the building. Ladies, let me say hey. Hey. We in Miami. Miami. What are y'all drinking on? You Me sipping? Here. You want to sip something? Can we get Shay no. a drink in here? <laughs> No, you're not you sipping? Know. No, no, no. But I want to know what y'all sipping on. Don't give me no buzzer. <laughs> I'm sipping wine. I'm on some like laid back right That's now. That's what I do, but red wine, wine Cabernet, but I'm not interested right you now. You so grown now. You doing red wine now, and you not, you're not doing tequila shots no more? No, I don't do tequila shots. I never was a tequila girl like that. I can't handle hard liquor. Really? What happens when you drink? Things I don't remember. Mm. <laughs> I felt that. We might we might need to get into those nights. I felt that. Raise your hand if you ever had a night you don't remember. Money. One, two. But three, I was with four. someone that I knew would take care of me. Yeah. And like I, a like a dude. Yeah. Who was a dude? Was it a little scrappy? Ooh, you little bastard! Is it too early for that? <laughs> <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> no. No comment. On who what, the guy what's was. your next question? <laughs> <laughs> Now, well, wait, hold on. What's the fit? We got on the all red. Oh. What are we doing? Show us the fit. I got on the Hervé Jogging suit, some Gucci mm. boots. Okay. <laughs> Gucci first, Sassy accessories, and these little twigs. Okay. Yay. Hair looking good. <laughs> Let's go around the room and everyone introduce yourselves and tell us what you do for a living. My name is Cecilia. Um, I'm down in Miami, a full-time college student at FIU. I study interior architecture. Oh, you a college girl. That means you outside. Yeah, I'm definitely outside. <laughs> oh, she said that because she's like, yeah. You should have seen me oh. last night. And what's your outfit look like? Um, got a little rock top. Stand up. Oh, okay. oh, a little skinny mini, slim thick. Okay. Okay. Turn up. What about you? Uh, hi, I'm Ali. I go to Miami and I take phys ex. Okay. Y'all yeah. all college students? <laughs> I, uh, Everybody's a student. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you that. do? Um, I'm Winsome. I Instagram's They Love Win. I'm a licensed esthetician. I do uh, body contouring, facials, and lashes. That's I want a, a good massage. industry. I gotcha. Me too. Raise <laughs> your hand if you like want a, a massage. like a mobile service? Yeah. Yeah, really? weight loss, tighten up. Like, Can you do massages for us, like while we doing the show? Like, wouldn't that be I'm dope? Like, massages. get massages. Oh, you don't do back lymphatic drainage massage. <laughs> lymphatic drainage. Oh, like Wait, after gosh. BBL and stuff. Or you can do it on the regular though, anyway, to just shape your body. So what drainage and where does the drainage? Like right go? under here, you can just move it down if you're bloated. You can move your yeah, you can fat shape yourself around with the massage. Yeah. Wow. But what happened if you get a BBL and you don't like do that? 
See, it messes up. The thing is, yeah, you need the massages because the doctor will snatch you, but the massages shapes you. It gives you that shape. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Mm. And what <laughs> your outfit look like? Before. Okay. Do a spin. Oh. <laughs> Why are you looking at her butt like that, Shay? You told her to do a spank. No, a spin. Oh. Look, see, look at her mind right there. Now, hold on. Let me see your outfit. You didn't show us your outfit. Okay, it was slim, thick. Okay. We got some skinny minis in here. Krista. It's Krista, Trini Krista. I just started co-hosting a podcast called We Are Florida Podcast. I do marketing and I do artist development for King Cash A13 Free Him. Wait, what is that? Name. 1 3 Free Him. What's that? He, it's the artist, but he's locked up right now, so I got to give him his shout out. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this are you are you beside him? Beside him. Hold him down. Did you just you gave a shout out to your boo and Now, are you dating him? Oh, you doing his promo and it's your oh, nigga? No, what no, we doing no, right no. now? What's going free on? Free him right now. Because the way you said that, like, that's your boo. Like, free, free my, my baby. Okay. <laughs> he ain't going to get me in trouble now. Oh, yeah. One won't get you in trouble. <laughs> not gonna you say you got booze. Artist. How many booze you got? One. Why you say booze with an S then? He's not doing that right now. And what's your outfit look like? She got the little dress on. Oh, okay. Okay, we outside. Now, what about you? Um, my name is Kim. I major in business. I also do drop shipping, and I also do OF. Oh, you got some OnlyFans. Yeah. Oh, what kind of content you do? Um, I do kind of not everything, do you but do like fully the new? basics. Yeah. Do yeah. you do uh, porn too, or no? That's a little okay. too far. I would never do porn. <laughs> so no, like guy action and no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how old are you? I'm 18. Wow, she's 18. Okay. Now let's see your outfit. She does not look 18. Do a spin. Okay. Okay, turn up. Now what about you? My name is Jada. I'm 21. I'm from here. My Don't be shy. Talk up. Um, I'm a receptionist. Um, I'm a licensed esthetician as well, and I do run my very own small podcast. Oh, shit. Okay. And what's your outfit look like? Okay. <laughs> Turn up. What about you? Hey, Wait, y'all got the same bag. Look, they both got the Gucci uh, pouch. Y'all twins. Hey, now. Hey, friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Victoria. Um, I, I was born here in Miami, but raised in Panama. So, Latina. You like Pitbull? I love Pitbull. I grew up on Pitbull. <laughs> You're crazy. You like Fat Joe? We in Miami. I mean, I'm 30. I like I like Fat Joe. We'll get into that later. And what's your outfit look like? Oh, are oh, you a thick Latina? You a J Lo? Y'all heard about that? I heard J Lo was getting her booty reduced. Y'all heard that? I did not hear that. They said she got her booty reduced. No. 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 I was like, don't do that. That's like slapping God in the face. Do not get your booty reduced. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. She looks good. Yeah, she looks good. Yeah, amazing. she looks real good. You know what else I hate? I hate when girls get their breasts reduced. That's like slapping God in the face, well, you too. Ain't I love had my tits. back pain with was, triple F. -E. Does that really hurt, though? Like, it be that bad? They be bad. Like, my cousin, <laughs> two of my cousins had to have a reduction. What? Because they had back pains. They was crying, couldn't sleep. It's terrible to watch. I didn't go through that. Mm-mm. But I watched it, and when they reduced oh, them, no. they were fine. They look good, like a boob. Check. And they still like they still nice and perky. But you know, it's like girls with little boobs want big boobs, and then girls with big boobs want little boobs. It's like no, no one wants what they have. I love my boobs. Well, Thank you. you. Have I boobs. appreciate it. I Do not get them reduced boobs. anytime, any day. Can you not get I them reduced for us? I, Don't I do will that. Never get them reduced. Can you like bounce a little bit? Yeah, please don't. See, that's a blessing reduced. right there. Don't don't never. do that. <laughs> Yeah, raise your hand if you ever got your boobs done. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just curious. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> why would that matter? <laughs> now, I would gotta, it matter to you if you were attracted to someone if they had surgery done at all? Not really. You know, like I don't think dudes care if you got boob job. Like dudes, some like dudes that. want natural. Some dudes don't care. Some dudes follow the trend because mm. the BBL is a trend right now. Some should, I feel like yeah, it. people just jumping on that. Yeah, everybody yeah. looks the same these days. And when I had my baby, my ass got fat. 
So mm-hmm. everybody think I went and got me a mommy makeover. And but then I you, always, you always had ass. I had ass and I lost weight when I got on my health and wellness journey and my ass went away with it. So it was a little there. But when I get thick, naturally, a natural body, I get thick everywhere. So my legs got bigger, my butt got bigger, everything got bigger. So you never got, like, your bu- I've never had done any anything? enhancements done ever. The only oh, wow. surgery I had was the fibroid surgery and to remove my daughter with the c section. You might be the only reality that's star true. that's never got anything done. <laughs> that is not true. They're, they're far and in between, but they're there. I, don't, I, I was asked at one point with a management team I was working with. They told me to do it. And they literally fought me on it. Like, you need to do it. We can make money. I'm like, I'm just not interested in doing that. How does that work, though? Because, like, a lot of people, man, so many people are models. It's their dream to be a reality star like you. How does it work? Is it pressure? Like, do you, they, like, industry people want you to get your body done. They want you to do all this. Is it pressure to do all of that? It's been, it's been people that have said things when I was a smaller size. Like, lately, the baby weight, they loving the thick thighs. And, you know, because that's what's popular right now. So yeah. they can identify with that. Mm. so i'm not doing it for the public i actually like the cushion and my people mm-hmm. like it too so yeah i am where i am and i'm comfortable where i am right now Period. so do you think mm-hmm. people shouldn't get bbls or you, you i'm think, not i'm not against it. like on some health shit I'm, like I'm is not, it dangerous like i'm not i wouldn't do it but i'm not against it i just know that if you do it do it properly with and do your mm-hmm. research on whomever you're going yeah, you can't to. go to everyone that's once just it's cheap. done it's done and you, some people look like ant eaters walking around mm-hmm. here, it'd be know? too big yeah, yeah. Like or they I didn't get that. the massages done and the yeah, stomach look like knots is up in yeah. there and that happens in the ass too so yeah i mean if you do it just make sure you take it serious and take care of your body i prefer natural of course but it, it doesn't mean it's something that you just can't do i'm gonna be honest i believe that most men prefer a girl that's natural and a lot of females, they get BBLs and they get a lot of surgeries done because they think, hey, this will make guys want me more and guys will like me more. And that may be true in the sense that you might get more attention when you step out. But I think that I've never met a man that said he preferred it. But I don't have no problem with it. Hey, if you get it done, you get it done, you look good, do your thing. I disagree. I think men more want what's popular. Just whatever arm even candy. they don't even un- they don't even take the time to to me to see what they want because yeah. they're going with the trend with whatever popping what the music says you need or the blogs or social media show you this is what you're supposed to be with so you so think for a dude to that. really be popping like he gotta have like a bag on his arm or like the BBL you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I don't think he have to I think that if you do it the right way it definitely draws attention mm-hmm. of yeah. course and if any attention you can turn into whatever you want it to be but they're just looking for that attention when you draw attention you can have somebody to promote to you monetize it it just makes sense raise your hand if you ever thought about getting uh a bbl or your titties done one I'm two scared. three wait anybody got any bb uh, titties on this the natural right here okay. this is the natural interview <laughs> so <everybody. laughs> but what about you Shut man up. as like a celebrity manager and stuff like if you run into like a young artist or a young girl like she pretty but you like yo like you need to get this BBL. You got to get this season. Then we can really present you to the networks. Like, how does that work? I always let my artists be themselves. I don't try to stare them in something that they don't want to do. Mm-hmm. I will always give my recommendation. We do live in a world there where that's, you know, sex sells. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. as, as a woman artist, um, you're, you have to be attractive. Mm. And there is a lot of pressure because you are competing with a lot of people. But then you have people like, um, and I'm always going to mess up her name, and I like her, she, the skinny girl, Benzino's daughter. Uh, hey. Coyler. 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 Yo, pe- but you know what? People was Shout hating on Coyler. her. No, they were. But that blew her up. Remember? They was all hating on her, but that got attention because I didn't know who she was until I saw her on the blogs getting hated on. About the she embraces. Yeah, she embraces. She's so yeah. confident. Right? Skinny girls be winning with her, too. Yeah, yeah with her yeah. slimness, and she does, she's not... And when you have that type of confidence, then you don't need that extra stuff and you're making great music. So as long as you embrace who you are, I feel like it's okay. But if my artist was to come and say, hey, you, you know, call Dr. Miami. I want to, you know, look and be like a Nicki Minaj and have those assets. Yeah. You know, I'm going to follow whatever you're comfortable with. I have a question. If I told you I wanted to get a fatter ass and a small. Not you. Why not? Because we work together. We are yeah, business partners. But you're, you're, Would it change my brand? Would it bring in an additional What if you got if I'm saying if I what? grew my ass more Bigger? and, and no, took no, no, out no. a rib or two, do this do the shit that they're doing. No, no, no. Only if uh, I don't think it would only, change your brand. You already like they already, you know what I mean? You already been in the game. It's it's yeah. only if, right? If you're either too slim, right? 
and you saying, hey, I just want some enhancement. And I'm talking about you have to be super skinny, right? Yeah. Or if you were overweight, right? Yeah. And you were like, hey, I want to do a surgery to get me down a little bit because I feel like I'm bigger. And you know, if it's it funny you say like that, that though, because like okay. you look in the industry back in the day, it used to be harder for like bigger women, but now you got people like Lizzo, like they changing the game. You know what I'm saying? Like Lizzo changed the game. Why you get that face? You don't think so? You don't, you don't rock with Lizzo? Or like? No, no, no. I love Lizzo. Okay. I, I, I think Lizzo's amazing. Um, he, here's what I'm going to say about that. And I think someone else said it too, and I'm not trying to start anything. I might disagree. I don't know. Please do. Be careful with your words. I'm going to be very careful of what I say. <laughs> this is our safe place. Say what's on your mind, y'all. Oh, don't please. Be I see you on freaking the shade room <laughs> and everywhere. It is. All I'm saying is that if I'm your friend, manager in your life, all I'm going to say is always try to be the healthiest that you can. Mm -hmm. I'm not, Lizzo has broken down doors as artists like herself has, mm -hmm. right? Your weight doesn't determine your talent. Yeah. Right? If you're dope, you're just, she's dope. This girl plays the violin, she's dope. But if I'm, if I'm your friend and I'm your manager, I'm, I'm the one who's supposed to tell you the things that are ugly. So if Lizzo was your artist, would you tell I her would, to lose weight? I would just be like, you know, let's go to the gym. Let's eat this, you know, salad instead of, you know, uh, White Castle. Yeah. So I'm just going to, I'm not <laughs> going to force you and say you have to do it. I'm always just going to encourage you to do it. Yeah. Because health and wealth. Come on Boom. now. Yes. Like, you see? So you, you would tell Lizzo to go to her wellness exactly. website and get some merch. Get some healthy hand. Appreciate that. Right now I'm mainly focused on my health and wellness business, thehealthyhand.com. I've sent you to my page. Yes. Um, I actually brought products this time. Oh, you got gummies. us some merch. Yes, we like yes, that. We have detox. We have gummies. We have apple cider vinegar gummies, turmeric right. gummies, sea moss gummies. I want to do like a trivia. I want to ask these ladies some questions, and if you answer it right, you'll get a free gift. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do a shade <laughs> giveaway. <laughs> oh, I did bring some stuff. Pass that around. That's yeah, my sure. total system detox. This is my total belly detox. This is what I brought for you. This for me? Yeah, but wait. I don't know who's going to win because I brought Ooh. I brought several things. Some good I have stuff CMOS in there. capsules. Okay. CMOS and bladder rat capsules. Okay. Turmeric gummies. Now, which gummies do y'all all, all want to try? It's only going to be one vinegar. open the day. Apple cider vinegar. It's either going to be the apple cider vinegar apple or the cider turmeric. Vinegar. Apple, cider apple cider vinegar. vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Which one tastes the best? I like all three. It's my business, my brand. I like all three. The CMOS sells the most. Yeah, I'll be it's hearing a lot the about that. The sells the most, but then the apple cider vinegar and then the turmeric. So mm, we're gonna do this contest. Vinegar, soon. Everybody wants to try because most I of do them. Smoke apple a lot, cider so vinegar. I might need that sea moss. <laughs> apple cider vinegar. I got you. We're gonna do a trivia, and you know, yeah, I want you guys to answer these damn questions before we get into all that. Yeah, y'all don't get the gummies yet. Y'all gotta answer the questions first. Yeah, we gotta answer them. We gotta answer. Them. And then I got some other gummies too, but these aren't on her website. These I am not special. interested no, in that. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> now I want to ask you, Julian. So, what's the biggest artist you ever worked with? Uh, Pitbull. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Pitbull. Yeah, he's big, big. Mm -hmm. He just Miami he just Legend. did um he just did ten million on um on Timber, so ten mil on one Damn, record. Damn son, yeah. where'd you find this? I mean, this is a guy who sold over a hundred million records. Like, wow, he's, he he's broken records, especially for a Latin artist. How much uh, is Pitbull worth now? He probably got like hundreds. Oh, over a hundred million. Yeah. yeah. So, how you feel about that whole situation with Fat Joe? Fat Joe said that he actually discovered Pitbull. Is that true? What Joe said was it kind of discredited everything that. I did with Pitbull and what Luke did with Pitbull. But you feel some type of way? I yeah. mean, I felt the kind of way because when you say that, there's people that's going to believe your statement because yeah. now it looks like you did it. Yeah. And it discredits me because I'm the one who found him and everybody knows that from Miami. So, yeah. And it yeah. discredits Luke, who is the king of Miami, who made all of us. I'm putting him on. I took his shit and made sure that they played it. They wasn't never going to play his shit. Six months later, he was rich. Mm. Pitbull. I took his demo and got him signed. Fat Joe, cool. Trick Daddy. I took his shit and got him signed. I discovered him, hands down. Pitbull says it out of his own mouth, right? I was the one who found him. I brought him to Luke. Luke automatically replied. I wanted a Cuban artist because I was from Miami. So I went and found Pit. I told Julian Booth. It started with me and I was there through tons of things that made him where he is now. But everything after that followed, a lot of people have helped. But like Pitbull himself, he'll be able to vouch. Pit says it himself. Play the clip. I was like, oh man, we got him. A guy named Julian Booth read about it. Got me to the studio to meet uh, Luther Campbell. There you go. Period. End of story. You know, we just wanted to get that clear. Yeah. Shout out, man. Shout out to everybody. 
Oh, I'm gonna ask these ladies about five word questions. If they get it right, then they get the free gift from the healthy hand. So it's nothing crazy, nasty, nothing. It's actually informative. Three questions. Whoever gets it gets a gift. All right. Let's go. Y'all ready to do this trivia? Let's go. Okay, the questions I'm gonna ask y'all is based around fibroids. Anybody ever heard of fibroids? I have. All right. So you can't because the last time we had a conversation, I already kind of broke it down. So you can't be in this. This is for the ladies. Okay. Right now. So can someone please raise your hand and tell me what are fibroids? Damn. Nobody <laughs> raised their hand. Wait, wait. She raised her hand right here. I know in Spanish they're called, I think they're fibromas. Fibro, um, fibromas. Fibromas. Okay. So my mom was in the hospital because she had seven of them. She um, did? Did she explain what they were? Um, so they're like cysts, if I'm not mistaken, that continually see growing your vaginal area, well, they're, your uterus. We're, that was a good try right there. But so even if you answer, no one's going to get a gift because you were supposed to answer me on the first try and you didn't raise your hand. But tell me what you have. What? what? Right. No, be. tell me. What do you have to I say? That was really good. Really, really close. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say something about cysts, but I know it's related to health and like uh, obesity. I what just, is ob obesity? Oh, you're no. big. Overweight. Yeah. Yeah. This overweight, unhealthy. You're with fibroids? Yeah, it can. Well, I've never heard it. I'm not saying it can't because honestly, we're, we have lack of education when it comes to fibroids. But fibroids are benign tumors that grow in your uterus. Yeah. They're benign mm -hmm. tumors, but the tumors can affect your menstrual cycle in many mm -hmm. ways and prevent you from even getting pregnant or having miscarriages. Yeah. So um, I had them, and that's how the healthy hand was created. I had them. I started taking herbs. The herbs helped minimize my symptoms. So I started to sell those herbs to different women. I wanted to ask you guys the trivia questions on fibroids because most young girls your age think you can't get them. And a lot of girls your age have them and will probably be put, asked to have a hysterectomy. Now, that's my next question. Does anybody know what the hysterectomy is? Raise your hand. I've been hearing that shit all my life. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what the hell is a hysterectomy? I've been hearing that. Um, that. Can you answer? What is a hysterectomy? Is it when you get your like um, reproductive organs removed? Absolutely. Ding, ding. Give her one. applause for her. We She's been learning something you. at school. You. Okay. I'm very, very proud. But yes, um, I was actually asked if I wanted to have a hysterectomy. A hysterectomy, they remove your entire ovaries. And you cannot produce or have a child if they were to do that. So the option was a myomectomy or hysterectomy. Of course, I wanted to have a baby. That's how my little munchkin got here that's sitting over there. Shout out to Shajaya. Shout out to the baby in the Follow her. I am Shajaya. Hi, mama. That's right. But Can we get a um, shot of the baby? I'm glad you so knew cute. that. And because you knew that, we're going to give you a bottle of gonna get you some sea moss girls we have one more question right now this is a trivia for the healthy hand.com i'm giving away gifts out here we got my detox over there can you show them my detox and i just lay it down like i want that? the sea moss i said i'm mad you gave detox. it to her i wanted that one i got I more for us. you now can you put, give, give me, me no my sea bag because he over there pouting oh, yeah, i don't got time for that no i want this, this one too my total system yeah. detox you ain't getting none of this belly. back now he don't want to hear me back. Okay, the last question is... But I don't have no belly fat, though. I'm trying to gain weight. You might need... <laughs> <laughs> Look, she said she wanted it. Yeah, yeah. So the final question, and that's my baby screaming over there. She's it's like, not time. Not yet. Uh, the question for fibroids is, have anybody ever heard of a UFE? is definitely pertaining to fibroids mm -hmm. a ufe stands for uterine fibroid embolization i know what a uti is <laughs> y'all laughing everybody that have a raise your hand if you had a uti we don't judge you all of y'all lying all right go ahead Shay. anyway it's a procedure that's done to remove fibroids it's non-invasive meaning it's non-surgical they can either go through your wrist your belly button but they remove the fibroids that way it's a company that i'm brand i'm a brand ambassador for usa fibroid center so this is what i do i try to go around and educate you on the importance of fibroids so were you informed today yes, yes. I'm yeah. Yeah. so if you have any important. symptoms you guys yeah. look for those symptoms back pain wait, yeah. so you know that's all of that okay go Mostly ahead yeah, i have a question so does that also apply for um pc pcos no 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 and even so i used to get um fibroids and um it was a it's another one that's really similar to it like it's, it's different issues that you can have with your menstrual cycle and the only one that i'm very familiar with is fibroids because i had them so no i'm not a doctor but i can send you in the direction to ans answer your questions but no those are not related i knew a girl that had ovarian cysts 
uh, ovarian cysts. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've, you know, I've known people several that people those, that yeah. had ovarian cysts. But that's and real dope for you, endometriosis is really popular with, with, mm-hmm. with girls, too. But the reason I wanted you guys to be educated is because a lot of girls I know didn't get checked out. They just allowed the symptoms to grow. It even happened to me, and it caused other issues. So for preventative measures, just get checked out and look for the signs and symptoms of fibroids. Go but ahead. that's dope for you, though. Like, you got this condition and like you actually are helping people with it you know what i'm saying instead of just like dealing with it yourself you're empowering people so that's real dope Shout i out to you am that. that is one good positive thing that i'm proud of it's just the self-gratification behind it and also i can promote my business behind that because it's all in the same umbrella of health and wellness yeah so that's pretty dope i hate that i wasn't able to give you y'all free give- gifts because y'all didn't I know shit Okay. But I it's okay. This about you. <laughs> no, we. I you need to give some of them girls you. on love and hip hop some of these things to get them some wellness so they can calm down. Everybody keep trying Shay on the show. <laughs> I do know a fact, but one of your gummies. Like I heard about like all this drama that's been going on the show. Oh, the People show. trying you. Uh, Spice. Why does Spice have a problem with you? Well, you're so confusing to the crowd. Everybody don't even know what you're talking about. There's a show. Called the reunion that just came Love out. Love hip hop reunion. Love and hip hop mm-hmm. reunion, and it came out on VH1. So they took a bunch of cast members from each, each, you know, Atlanta, Miami, New York, and LA, and put them in an area together to resolve their issues and network and all of that. So I thought I was going to Kumbaya, and the first day I got there, all hell broke loose. I don't know what the problem is. I I have no idea, but you have to watch and see what happens. When's Trying the last to... time you slapped a bitch? <laughs> Um, uh, that's not Don't what I me. do. You don't do that. I don't. I don't. I don't do that. I ain't got. You know. I ain't got into no fight nope. since I was young. I was like, yeah, like it's school. not worth it when it's all done and you go to jail and you gotta go to court and you raise your hand if you got into a fight within the past year. I ain't fought nobody at the club. You raise your hand. No. Okay, that's good. Mm-hmm. I be I seeing fights in Miami. Someone. Yeah, I can't see you screaming at nobody. Which <laughs> no, <laughs> she actually so does. She actually no, like, does. Yeah. Oh, y'all know each other, y'all friends. She was my roommate. Oh, y'all was roommates. Yeah, well, uh, technically. Kind of so you, she screamed yeah, at you. Type no, no, no. Thing? She didn't no, scream at me. Like, but like, she's heard me screaming at people. Yeah, like several. Like times. dudes. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, okay, that that was another story, but she like steals my attitude. Yeah. She steals your attitude. Yeah. What do you mean? Towards other people. Yeah. Because oh, it's like until you just like one time we shit. threw like I st- threw like a small party and like one of my friends was in the living room and then she kind of like yelled at him like Why are you in our house? Oh, uh, <laughs> so she be getting it lit. You don't want all the strangers in the crib. Well, she was at the club, but she came back and then I guess well he's kind of no he literally he was just standing no, he there. Came he out was of just nowhere. There. I was like, who the know. fuck are you? Okay. <laughs> now we gonna get into that because I got some questions for y'all ladies. But first, let me revert back. What what did you have? Because w- when I edit this, I'm gonna mix that back up and we'll put it together. What was your question? Oh, I was asking, um, how do you get fibroids? That is the number one question that they can't answer. They don't know where they come from. There's speculation that is the estrogen in the food, um, you know, the types of food you eat, environmental wine and 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 genetics is is gif- is different speculations, but they don't know. It hasn't been enough research, so that's why we have to talk about it so we can bring more attention towards what is the core issue because we don't know. Can guys get it? No, it's only a female. Pr- <laughs> oh, oh no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's our right, ovaries. Right, right. It happens in our ovaries, but it's oh, preventing okay. pregnancies and uh, like miscarriages, mm-hmm. back pain, pelvic pain. My menstrual cycle was going to twenty days. That's oh, completely abnormal. It's a lot seven. y'all got to deal with. Oh, like as a girl, like do y'all know that y'all can actually get like bacteria down there just from like a guy like Not touching you down, down there. there like if his hands are dirty down there you can in catch the something like, yeah you can you can that. catch something just from getting fingered bro yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. like you gotta make sure at this point a nigga wash his hands before he touch you yes. or you gonna be at the doctor the next monday <laughs> gotta be picky out here. i never understood <laughs> the finger I don't I don't get that. You not it's never not, been into the finger it's thing? Not a what? pleasant situation. No. Don't put I got a question for y'all. I got a question for y'all. Finger. Do girls not cuz I know y'all like to get the the clit rub, but do y'all not like to get fingered? It's just us. We like to I finger. I like it at the same time. So you like to yeah, get fingered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it at the same time. It got to be safe time. Yeah. Okay. Just get into it more ladies. We'll talk about this in 10 years and see how you feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to Cuz you know, dude, finger. we just going to start fingering, but y'all want clit stimulation, but 
That's whack. I just go on real music. No, nah, like no, I wanna, but it's like weird because sometimes you, you know? they like don't know where to find like the whole the clit. No, oh, like the, clit. the actual. So they just rub the outside. The whole two. The whole two. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had a girl on the show that said that she didn't. That got a lot of guys didn't know how to find the hole. Maybe hers. So apparently, it's like a, a thing. Yeah, maybe maybe it's hers. Is, I don't know. Smaller. <laughs> maybe it's just confusing down there. Yeah. Is yours bigger? Or? I don't know. Okay. They're just, they're just, I guess they just easily go in. I don't oh, know. So you've never had that. <laughs> <thing right? laughs> now, before we get into, I got a question. Where, raise your hand if you're single. I need to see who's single in here. What if I was yesterday, like day before yesterday? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that it's counts. If it's if it's three count. days, it, you it, single. It if it's the first seventy two hours, we go back and forth so much. So you take every time I try to run, he's like, "No, is I don't know." Who who? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now I know everybody want to know what's your relationship with Lil Scrappy. I don't think it's an important conversation to have. It's irrelevant. But what about Mama D? Because like you're so close to her, it's almost like you her daughter. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm Shout out daughter. to Mama D, but it's like, yeah, she treats you like her daughter. What's that about? Uh, Mama D is like a mom. I love her to death. Um, we have great times together. Say hey, y'all. What up? <laughs> we have great times together. And, and I heard she's putting it. you in her will. Okay. That's like some. That's some. That man, was, that's some that daughter was a conversation shit. Conversation supposed to stay between yeah. he and I. <laughs> oh that my wasn't bad. Supposed to yeah. come on here. Well, there well. was. There was a, Thank you. I mean, I don't know. I'm just not. She wants to add my child to her will. Oh, and wow. I'm against it oh. for several reasons. And Is your child's know. father a little scrappy? Oh, Lord. Oh, my. Ah. Look, love is love. Why she can't just love her? Like, oh. I'm saying if my mama put a girl's daughter or son I in the will, that, that better already. be my baby. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be honest. Like. Ah. I've answered that question. I've answered that question. That's not my child's father. <laughs> you said it's not? Really? <laughs> wow, that just made me sad. I thought she it was. She said what she said. I, th- I would have liked, I thought that would be cute. Scrappy is dope. Yeah, shout out to Scrappy, man. Yeah, shout out to Scrap. He's doing his thing on his tour. Shout out to him. So. Shout out Mama D. Shout out Mama D. Did I tell friend. you the story? <laughs> that lady is something special. I love her. Did like, I tell you, you the story? Mama D wasted wine on my rug. I used to live at Atlantic Station at the 12, you know, and she lived she at this like drinking. loft next across from it. Mm-hmm. And so she came to the corner. She had a glass of wine and she spilled it on my rug. Was it white? Yeah. Oh, it was a white oh. landscape. I don't care though. Like, it still was lit. I like, hey, Scrappy Mama spilled it. Up. <laughs> it was like some shit to say, you know. You have and she used to make those Sunday work. dinners, and everybody used to go Air over there to over eat there, the Sunday. Yeah. yeah, it used to be fun back in the that day. That lady still do it to this day. That lady is one of the best cooks I ever, ever had in my life. Like, she come to my house and get down. We just left from over there, like, not Mama too long Mama D looks like she know how to cook. Raise she your hand do. if you know how to cook, because I know girls these days. Y'all I know how to cook kale that'll bust your ass. Why you raise your hand a little bit? Maybe okay, like, right. I'll put that in the house. So I got a question for y'all. Do y'all believe a relationship should be 50-50 as where the guy, he takes care of the bills and the girls y'all cook? Or like y'all don't believe in cooking for a man? I I mean, I think the man can cook occasionally. No. No. A woman should cook mostly? I I think it's reversed. I think the man should cook all the time. Damn, for real? No, I definitely think the woman should like cook cook. food for the man to come home from. Like if he's paying the bills, he can come home to a nice meal, you know? First of all, but, if you no, but I want him to can cook. I want a man that. Can but I want him to work because, and you know, cook, though. No. That's the thing. You want him to do everything. Like, too much. Do everything. No. And what you gonna do? Poor man. I'm gonna be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you want him to work? You want him to cook, and you just gonna do nothing but be pretty? No, I'm giving him my love and affection. Like I'm giving him my time. So you gonna you gonna fuck him? And treat like him good loyal yeah like be just be loyal. a princess of like the but family. you ain't gonna cook him no dinner i will cook him but like that's part of the affection part what about like cleaning are you gonna clean his house <laughs> no i would no. i mean like no. i don't okay, know so he needs a maid he needs yeah a maid. no no i would definitely hire somebody you hire somebody. But, like, yeah. would you like clean up um, like if like occasionally wait yeah, yeah. 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 
are not very top G. It, the no, the no, answers, no, 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 I, I love all of the answers because it sounds like it's from a lot of inexperienced relationships. I, 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 so I, I have the worst relationship. I was so I don't agree. I do not agree. I have the worst but you know what? I was talking I was talking with the girl um in one day and I asked her, I said, yo. Would you be cool with, because she was making a lot of money. I was like, yo, would you be cool with the roles being reversed? Like, he stay at home wife. Not wife, but, you know, he the stay at home dad. He cook. He clean. He take care of the kids. You work. You get the money. And would you be cool with that? And she was like, yeah. Would y'all be cool with that? Like, the mm, dude being yeah. like. I don't know. They look sexy in work clothes. Like, <laughs> I don't she know. says the uniform. <laughs> it's the uniform. It's Something about a man bringing money on the table. Like, like literally on the table, like yeah, yeah, like 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 cash. So dudes just be handing you cash on the table. <laughs> like here, here's your credit, like my credit card. Just go. So you had a dude just give you a card yeah. before? Yeah. And how much you spend on it? I don't know. I wouldn't spend that much though. That's the thing. Like I would just like the jester is nice enough. You ever had a sugar daddy? No, I haven't. I'm a lover girl at heart. I've mm-hmm. like never had a whole face like ever. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I've never had that. At all. Do you have to be a whole face to have a sugar daddy? What is what is a sugar like? What is I don't know what whole face means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't be co- acting like you that innocent. Every girl no had idea. that phase where they turned no. up. Come on, Shay. Yeah. You had that one phase where you was like outside for like a good summer. Come on, back in the day. Are you saying whore? No, oh. like like when you like talk to multiple guys. whole face, you know oh, what they call face. like you know where you was like you you had you went out like, like you, you were that up. girl. That's okay. never but been didn't a terminology care. from where I'm from. I've never heard that before. Not I've never heard it. Well, you before. had a hot girl summer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That. I have never been a hoe, and I'll never admit to no shit. Like, the fuck. I mean, you I'm not like, a slut. I'm not saying I'm innocent, yeah. but getting it put down by several of the, like I was not uh, goals. I don't some some people that might be fun go knock your I'm not saying don't live your it's life how you want to live your life mm-hmm. but I'm not interested in multiple penises running through my vagina and giving me whatever I'm just not uh, interested yep. in that that's yep. not what Amen. no Community yeah. penis. Is that what they call it? <laughs> yeah, um, like no. I mean, some are not community penises, and they just happen to have a case down there. So, yeah. raise your hand if you ever had community penis. Come on, man. Everybody. I've had a community. Pe- Come on, y'all didn't fuck with a nigga. Come on, everybody. Everybody, yeah. everybody didn't fuck with yeah. a dude that's like a thought. Come on, let's be yeah. honest. Yeah. Like secretly. Y'all probably. didn't raise your hand. Y'all ain't never fuck with a dude that was a Real fuck boy. Selective. You're married, so I. I Who's married? With a I was married. You married? I'm married. How old are you? I am going to be 30 in January. Oh, you grown? I thought she looked like 18. You have kids? I have two. Really? Oh. How old are they? Um, Nine and four. Oh. He just turned five. Oh. Yeah, and that's what I was going to say. Okay, I got a whole question for you. Go ahead. <laughs> what you was going to say? I was just going to say you shouldn't, with the relationship, you shouldn't put like gender roles on it. Mm-hmm. You should just do, everybody has seasons. Everybody has their time. Sometimes he makes the bread and I got to lay low and hold the kids down and then sometimes vice versa. Like he holding the kids down right now. You know, mm. that, that answer came from experience. She's that's older true. than you. Yeah. You're inexperienced. Yeah, I'm not true. trying to come She's only 18. Like, no, yeah. like 18. she just started yeah. dating like two years ago. Well, maybe. You probably You're outside of you like 14. I don't know, actually. Yeah. How like long have you been uh, like dating since you were like 15, 16? Uh, maybe like early, like the first year of middle school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think so, yeah. So your middle school relationships, it's safe to say you didn't cook for them? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And every relationship I would pay. Really? Every relationship I would Man. pay. I yell at her for yeah, that. Yeah, she yells at me for that. Now, you came on the episode before, and you told us that you wouldn't date a broke dude. I mean, that's not very top G. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have anybody ever dated a broke dude? I need. Raise your hand. <laughs> Everybody, I I, I, you were, you before. have never. I would like to find somebody to spoil me. Yeah, <laughs> so she said, I want somebody. Please, if you're watching this, please, I want to find. I would like to find somebody to spoil me. Please, slide in my DM, nigga. <laughs> so you ain't never had a dude that spoil you? No, not really. Yeah, no. All right, we're going to find her a sugar That's daddy today. Oh, yes. Find me one. My ex still owes me $3,000. She so bought her ex a $5,000 Cartier yeah. bracelet. I'm a spoiler. Raise your hand if you ever... Look at the ch- snitch. She snitched. What's she <laughs> What's she did? Say it again. She's she like, bought her a $5,000 Cartier bracelet that he wrote with Cartier with glasses. Wait, he did, she did I didn't what? Know about that. I didn't hear you. Say it again. She, a bought, a Cartier Cartier she bought a $5,000 Cartier bracelet for his ass. How you do that? 
because taxes. I just saved up money. I'm and you saved up five thousand dollars and gave. Okay, well, in my defense, if I buy something, I have to have three times more of that in order to buy it. Yeah. So oh, I would. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I, he was broke though. Well, he was. His family's well off, but like, I'm a very my love language is gifting, and like he basically. Well, he still owes me it back. But um, how you owe you back? You gave it to him. He ain't giving that shit back. I'd be like, yeah, but I had actually lost that shit, man, and pulled it up. No, but he would call it fake. Sell that shit on eBay. He literally would call it fake, and I had to show him the receipt. And till this day, he calls it fake. Mm. Like to this day, I what's up? Can just give it so back to you. I mean, right? That's what I'm saying. If it's fake, then give me back the thing. Ra- yeah, raise your hand if you ever loaned out your uh, a dude some money. You ever let a dude borrow Bro, some money? Too much. Too I much. used to buy stuff with my ex's credit card because he just gave it to me. <laughs> I mean, all of them. <laughs> all of them. Y'all spoiled in here. <laughs> you ever like took care of a man, Shay? You remember that one situation, Julian? When we was going to meet a K Baila, yes, that was a that situation did. where I felt like yeah. I was doing way too much and I was being a trick. Mm. And I'm like, oh no! And that's what. Every, so you, you was a sugar when mama. They ain't got no money. The sex be t- on oh, ten because yeah. yeah. mm. they ain't got nothing else. They know how to do, so they better conquer that at least. You know what I mean? But uh, that was the situation. See, and, guys, that's why girls fuck with broke dudes because the sex is good. So well, if you don't have no money, it don't. If you just so make sure know. you fucking her good and you know, <laughs> still. You know, he actually died recently. Oh, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, no, I'm saying, right? energy changed, and I'm like, whoa, I didn't mean to do Whoever my man is, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, I hope you're rich in heaven, gang. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that was sad. Let me yeah, no, no, that was sad. <laughs> Shut up, Julia. You... <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. It was sad. Raise your hand if you were only, at this point, after experience, you only want a guy who was rich. Raise your hand. What? One, two. Actually, I mean, mm. I mean not rich, I, but I like, want him to have money like, so well he can spoil me. You know? yeah. I mean, it's like she was saying. I feel a relationship should be 50-50. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're with somebody. It's a partnership. Like, it's not just a bank account. You when you have your own money, y'all yeah. perspectives would be different at that yeah. point too. Yeah. Like, if you have, you can buy whatever you want on your own. It's a different feeling. Don't wait on nobody to give you shit. You guys are beautiful. Yeah. Ain't nothing but like at least be able to pay for dinner because my ex never paid for dinner. Damn. That's sad. Yeah, but girl, you got a long way to go. So it's okay. It it's so okay. Bad. You ain't making dinner. He ain't it paying so for bad. dinner. It's all right. So, well, all right. So, one. what would y'all do if y'all went to dinner with the guy's first date? You know what I mean? He's attractive to you. He's seems cool, but the bill come and he say, "Look, let's split this bill 50-50. <laughs> <That's, I mean, laughs> and okay. he pull out his calculator on the phone and shit, like <laughs> I mean, that's and calculate fine. how much. What would y'all do? That's fine, but maybe he, he just won't get a second date. Damn. Okay. It depends who asks out who. What's funny is that yeah, 100%. Yeah. If, he if he asks, asks you out, me out, then he has to pay. It depends. Your on answers are all on eighteen. Like and <laughs> what about you? To be like, eighteen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would feel a kind of way because, like, you kind, you should have been told me, but I won't mind doing it. But it's just like, damn, that like, should have been a conversation. Been. Yeah. I want to try that one day, like go on a date <laughs> and then pull out my calculator to be like, yeah, bro, like let's split. Well, that's common. <laughs> Guys do they that. They be doing that? They try to do it to oh, test women. Know. Just to Let test them, Let me see yeah. what type of person you are. You mm-hmm. stupid fuck. I already know about all of the tricks, all of the games. You reach is. over and open the door, BS. Like, that doesn't mean shit. I still could be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs later on down the line. Like, you don't know what you're dealing with until time happens. Mm. Yeah, that's true. But that also depends on who invited who. Because if he yeah. invited me out... Okay, so that's that's a good question then. So if y'all invite us on a date, like if a girl be like, "Yo, we should go out, we should go to dinner," no. does that mean she should pay? No, it doesn't mean no. she should pay. But honestly, if I ask a guy, I'm like, "Hey, um, let's go get some coffee." No, I'll invite you. No, why do you it's feel like? Come. But but I'm saying if she invited you out, cool. why do you feel like she shouldn't pay because she invited you? So they say the rule is whoever invites should pay. I I I, I understand that, but. I'm just cut from a different cloth. I'm just old school in that tradition. If I don't want to pay for that date, I'm just going to say, hey, thank you for asking me. You're not going to go. I'm going to decline. Because why am I going on that date to let you pay? You're not a man and and any woman. My daughter goes on a date, even if she's asking the guy. Yeah. If that dude doesn't pay, that's a guy that you do not need in your life. Yeah. Period. The end. I'm just mm. traditional. A man's supposed to be a man. I don't believe in all this equal stuff. They can come down and go in the comments. I do not care. I think we need to play our roles, but it ha- it 
there has to be a good man and a good woman together to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Every it's... Every woman so guess, really so wants a strong man in her life. Ain't no woman want no weak dude on her side because mm. when it goes down, you don't want the weak guy. Yeah. You want the guy who's going to go do action because that's what a woman wants. She wants protection. She wants to feel loved. She wants all that stuff, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have to have that kind of guy. So if your daughter told you, hey, I went on a date with this guy and I paid what would you say to that? He can't come around no more. <laughs> Tell. I'm sorry. That's not the kind of guy you want in your life. The man is supposed And So what if she said, like, Dad, like, he thinks it should be 50-50. He wants me to pay 50% of the bills, 50% of everything. How no. would you feel about that? It depends. If this is the guy you're planning to work with, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's okay. My girl can pay for a meal. It's not a problem, Right. But at the end of the day, we're talking about first dates, that first impression. Yeah. You need to know that. So I'm down the line, it's cool. Every down the now line, and if then. she wants to pick up the yeah, bill, yeah. hey, we out eating, here it's you cool. go, yeah, no yeah. problem. But That's first not, date, no. But that first run and the majority of the relationship, if the guy has it, I'm not saying the guy should go rob a bank or do something. But if he has it, he should be the one that's holding the family down and she can support. Mm-hmm. But it needs to be that guy. Now, what about sex on the first date? Raise your hand if you do sex on the first date. Y'all cap as fuck. <laughs> Everybody in here is fucking. You know, you know what the answer to that question is? It's going to take the guy for that particular girl. Yeah, it's a certain type of man. It just takes a that guy. a certain type of woman. And that connection, they just right. want each other or some shit. Not the guy who splits the bill. I assume. <laughs> Definitely that's, not. That's talk behavior. And that comes from <laughs> Unless balling on a budget ass man. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So if they don't have it, yes, they will come up with this. Yes, it's 50 50. I get it. But, but is it more them. attractive to y'all? Like, if he does have more money, that like turn y'all on more sexually? Oh, yeah. Like, y'all going on a date? More money, <laughs> Someone in the back said, hell yeah. yeah like, yeah. That's my like, like he just got money, like so y'all going out and he just like throwing money around. Is that like, ooh, like it just yeah. make you wet? Like, does that turn y'all on? <laughs> if he just throwing, throwing money, around? money around, like at the strip club. Nah, but like not throwing money around, but just like just loosely, like whatever. Let's get a bottle of Dawn Perignon or just yeah. like yes. money what ain't a thing. Is that be like wind and right. dine, yeah. yeah. corded? Like, dying, like come but on. It's also good to provide something too. Like if you show me how to get that, I like that more than you just throwing it because we could throw it. Like show head. you how to make money. Yeah, like show me. Yeah. Yeah. So raise your hand, and I promise we won't judge you. Let's be honest; it's a happy place. And you would be more susceptible <laughs> to sleeping with now. him if he had more money and, like, you know, what I mean, he was spoiling you on that first date. Like, would you be more likely to go home with him? Yeah. yeah. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, it really just depends on his like personality and attitude. I would have to know him matter. before. It's not just about the money. Like, yes, I love. You have to be spoiled. feeling about. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't no, fuck with him if, he, if he's ugly because I've had an ugly guy like send me money all the time, ask me out, keep trying to get me to come out with him, but he was just not cute and I could not. Yeah. Like, I didn't okay. want to be seen with him. <laughs> all right, so let me ask you a question because I know the guys want to know, what would it take for them to get laid by you on the first date? Um, I don't know. Okay, so the only one I've ever done is the ex, um, bef- my ex before the ex that I just had. And the only reason he, I did that was because I talked to him before, like, a, like maybe like a month into it. So how did he get in your pants? What did he do? Um, <laughs> uh, um, he told me he loved me. Wait, and- what? The first yeah. date? What the <laughs> fuck? Not the first date. Was this nigga 18? How old was this he nigga? Was, no, he was 16. He was 20. He was 20. Okay. Was 20. You checked his ID, right? Oh, so 20. he was a pedophile. Like, I know this is our first date, but I really love you. Like, I really want, like, this is, I want you to be the one for me. It was so bad. I, it was like the worst decision I ever made because he was awful. Oh, my God. Um, but I just got love bombed um, prior to that. And then, like, he did have the stocks money. So, like, I guess up to that, it was more into that. And then he just, like, basically, like, just loved bombed me into it. And then we kind of just, like, whatever. And it was fine for, like, a couple of months. And then, like, well, this is the ex that stole $3,000 from me. I'm a, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to make it easy, right? I'm going to answer the question, right? If Shay meets a guy tomorrow, right? This guy comes in. He's like, yo, man, I'm going to drop hundred grand in your business, bum bum bum. I got this house over here. I love your daughter. I'm gonna rock with you. What you need? And he starts doing what he needs to do immediately. Yeah. yeah. And he shows interest. Like I'm not playing with right. you. Me and you. This is our car. It's on the deed. 
what you what else you want to do? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think That's everybody here fucking someone to do that. She gonna call me and be like, I don't know who yeah. this is. If anybody drop, <laughs> but I fuck if anybody here. drops a hundred thousand dollars in your bank account, account, you're fucking. Because here's here's, uh, here's yeah. the biggest thing, right? Because it's not just about the money. It's about oh, you really invested yeah. in me like that. You know what I mean? You really fucking with me it's like this, that. It's the saying right here. You want a guy not to want to fuck you, but fucks with you. Yeah. yeah that's so if he real. comes Ooh, in your that's life, deep. If can we get a sound effect for that? That was deep. Right. If he's flashing <laughs> money and he's just like, oh, that's your money. But if you come into a girl's life and you're like, what is mine is yours and we're going to rock together. We're going to build this life. And he starts yeah. talking about five year plan and 10 year plan and he's really mm-hmm. doing it. Yeah. You dropping them draws because you know those <laughs> yeah, guys yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those. are yeah. very yeah. rare yeah. because the most of the guys are going to say, hey, you want to go out? Hey, you want to go over to Nobu? And all they're going to do is wine and dine you. They ain't spending yeah. no real money on you. They'll go get you a little thing over here and there just to, to make you feel good. Mm. But what, what, they're not involving their life. They're not going to come change diapers so wait, but, but, and do but, all that shit. But That's what are you amazing. saying? So you saying that a man should like if he like a girl, he should drop a hundred bands in her account? No, no. That's a lot, man. No, no, no. Like <laughs> I, I ain't saying, never done that before. I'm saying that you need about and guys know this, right? Mm-hmm. A guy's going to know if he likes a girl or not. Literally within a couple of dates, right? Yeah. And the first couple of dates again, that's the representative. Yeah. You're not showing the crazy yet. You're just like, oh yeah, I'm great. Yeah, you're meeting a, that representative. I had a couple crazy yeah. boyfriends and girlfriends, and we're all just lying to each other. In the yeah, yeah, you're just talking until shit until yeah. I move in with you, and then you're like, where the hell you at? What's this and this and that? And then you start seeing the real person. Once I know the real you, if I do rock with you, then I'm gonna be able to deal with all of that. And when you find that person, right, the most important thing I've learned in life has that happened to you? Like you move a girl in and then she go crazy. I'll give you a perfect example. I'm not putting my girl on blast, but my girl is exactly her. That's your girl back here. She back there helping. Where you at? Come over here. That's K Money. What's up? (laughs) Right. So (laughs) we, (laughs) uh oh, her and I, her and I dated before, right? And we broke up. And my fault. I'll take the, I'll take the L on that. But then we came back together. But what I realized within dating, you know, different people. Our personalities match. Mm. We could be locked in a room together for weeks and we're going to get along. Yeah. That's the most important thing. That it, is. it ain't about, and, and, and she's a beautiful girl, but I don't need the motherfucking BBLs and all that bullshit because we, when you start looking at the celebrities' wives, the ones that they really lock down, it may not they be, don't be like bad. the baddest bitch on the block. Yo, that's real. The biggest Come celebrities, on, girl, oh, the wives and baby mamas don't so be bad. Shay, that's not true. They be regular they, looking they, girls. They don't I'm be real. regular. They just pretty. They, it's some pretty girls Yo, have girls you seen... I don't want to say that. We're not going to say that. Oh, you you see what I'm saying. Me, what are you talking about now? I can name but a few celebrities. But if a guy was to do that, would that impress you? Absolutely. There you go. Would that impress That's y'all? Married. You're that invested married. in me and my business? Raise your hand if you ever dated a dude and he had an ugly baby mama. Yeah. Okay. Like Exactly. I went, I went this way. I was confused. I was like, why are you asking me? What's going on? Exactly. Nah, but so, but what's the definition of a of a crazy girl? You said a girl be like, "Where you been at? Who is this?" Like, do y'all think that guys make y'all crazy? Cause like, yes. we want we want peace. Oh, like, yes. I'm gonna tell you right now what a man wants. A man wants. Yes, we like a beautiful woman. Yes, we like to have sex. Yes, we like to eat. We want sex to be good. But the, I think what really makes a man stay is not how fine you are, not how good the sex is, not even how good the food is, but. <laughs> The your peace. A man wants you to be cool you his the, peace. The, the peace. If he can be peace around you and you ain't stressing him the fuck out every day, then that shit will last. Yep. I agree with that. Okay. And cooking and cleaning don't hurt, or at least the cleaning part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, when's the last time you guys had sex with your ex? Never. Mm. Ex don't gone. Go as night. soon as he's yeah. an ex, he's. Who said last night? Was. Someone said last night. <laughs> oh yeah, sex. Yeah, last night. Sleep. <laughs> What about you guys? No. Go we were close, but no. Not, not it ended close. for a reason. October. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say it like that? You need some water. Your throat was she covered. was counting the months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have y'all ever had an ex like his well, homie you said tried, ex, no. Yes. Yes. Like his homie tried to get at yes. you or a family yes. member? Yes. No. Literally a few days ago. His dad. <laughs> Literally a few. What? His dad? His dad? Oh, Damn. <laughs> Wait. No. What happened a few days ago? Um. So me and my ex broke up, and then his best friend like started texting me and sent me like a dick pic. Wow. Yeah. Like, but he like text. He like basically told me to add him back on Snap, and then he says, 
oh, like, I didn't think I could send this on iMessages. Did he tell you, like, not to tell him? Yeah, like, well, I screenshotted it on my computer just in case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, you still deciding if you want to, like, tell yeah, on Yeah, I'm still nigga? deciding because I do care um, about my ex as a you friend. Will, you will smash the homie? No. Oh, my oh. God. I mean, he's hot, but, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. I mean, nah, but be realistic, guy. like... Why? What? But why not though? Because one, like you don't care about this guy anymore. No, I don't. But I'm a really good person, and I feel like if my best friend was flirting with my ex that I did care about at some time point, and I consider that person like a brother or like a sister, I would want to know. But do you wish you could fuck him? Like you wish he wasn't his friend, or you don't? It's not. No, I don't care. I mean, because I mean, all his like most of his friends have hit me up, but like not in that far type of way. Yo, niggas is dirty, Julian. What what about? They'll straight up hit up yo. be your best friend be trying to get at your girl behind your back what about you stunt have you ever had that situation happen to you what homies yeah i had man homies trying to get with my girl ex-girlfriends before were they really your homies i was yeah. gonna say i had a couple of really my homies bro how are you treating that girl like i, I had this right. i had this dude, I this dude that claimed to be my homie like yeah bro you my bro bro like hey i take you watch i'll take a bullet for you and niggas that be so strong like that I, he was around my girl we had a little house party, and then when he left, she was like, yo, that's your boy? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's my boy. She like, bro, he been licking his lips at me, looking me up and down all night. I'm like, nah, not my nigga. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. And he knew that was your girl. He knew. He yeah, like, yo, y'all look so cute together, bro. I'm so happy for you. She had a valid say that when you said again. But was that your only girl? No, yeah, you that was said my only how girlfriend. did you treat her? Yeah, you treat the her. way you treat her and your people see the way you treat her, they're gonna treat her. Yeah, the same no, that was way my only do. girl. Okay, so yeah. like, well, that I is not your friend, friend. right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it was this guy that I was talking to. Like, he's not my ex or nothing, but like, he came to see me, and when he came to see me, it was another guy in the car that I knew from school. Did you tell him? No, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> they told each other. Yeah. So. We went to like the store real quick. So when his when he got when the guy that I was talking to got out of the car, the friend started flirting with me. The one you already knew. Yeah. But you knew him first. Yes, I knew him. Well, first. that's different because you knew but, him like, first. When I first got in the car, like, he was like hiding his face, like he didn't I'm want me to see. He didn't want you to see. Yeah. yeah now the one his friend you smashed him. Explain it right. Yeah. Okay. And then the new guy you smashed him. Okay, <laughs> so they probably did have that talk, like, cause you know niggas, we have talks. But no, it's like I'm gonna tell you, like straight okay, up, like, says. yeah, I know her, okay. like, yeah, we used to, you know what I mean? So you me should. and the guy that I was talking to, like, we stopped talking. We was on bad terms. He went to jail. So oh, then, shit. so you went back talking to the old one, or the, you saying yeah, that was I the old one? Talking to the old one, and then that's when we, you know. Yeah. I have an opinion. Do you think sometimes the way you dress can allow someone to come at you inappropriately? At your age, yeah, but you got your. I, I like them; they're cute boobs. But you got them all out, and what's she supposed to do? Hide them? No, the <laughs> thing is, some people would a- approach her in a disrespectful way because you, you got your short dress on. You're drawing that sexual. Am I saying it right? He explains you, it better than me. He had, this you is, will attract the wrong attention. You, I'm gonna tell you my sure. theory. I'm gonna tell you my theory on that. Then I'm looking at you, little hot stuff. You too. And I'm like, look at these little sexy girls, they titties out. So then I'm when a, a guy approaches you a certain way, and, it, and some are ignorant as hell. I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give y'all my that. opinion on that because I, from personal experience, a lot of the girls that cover themselves up and wear the turtlenecks and shit and all that, they be the biggest freaks. Because I had this one girl, Shay. She was shy. She was mousy. She wore fucking turtleneck. She ain't show shit. You feel me? And this bitch tried to bend me over and eat my ass. And this was a shy ass girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I thought she was. I didn't bend over, but I'm just saying. (laughs) I didn't do it, but I'm just saying. She was dirty as fuck. I'm like, I thought she was a virgin. I believe you. I believe you bent right over and let her lick him up. I mean, I laid on my back, but I ain't bent over, you know what I'm saying? But no, but this is what I'm trying to say, though. My point is sometimes the bigger freak be the shy, modest looking girl. And sometimes the girls who like dress sexy. They they might be less of a freak than a modest girl. Let's be honest. You can't be. Are, are you, am I saying here, here, right? The, the wrong thing. attention. It's my personal experience. Way it's not about. It's not about. I think what she's trying to say. It's not even about them being a freak. It what how you are your 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 presence is what you attract, right? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So if you're over sexualize yourself, let's say on social media, you're gonna attract those type of guys. So then when you're looking back at your list of guys you dated for the year, you're like, these niggas ain't shit. Well, yeah, because those are the guys that you're <laughs> attracted. Like, oh. but right? it, but it depends because this is what she do for a living. Like she has OnlyFans, so like this is how she make her money. But look at the story. So she's she gotta been with the over show some ass. With. I'm not mad at that. They're but one of the stories. girls, one of the girls said, she ain't talk to no gospel prat pastor. <laughs> Everybody you running into are people in your world. Yeah, well, but I maybe should've... she doesn't want to talk to a pastor. Yeah, no. that, <laughs> you see, I don't want to talk to a pastor. Pastor. No. pastor. I'm not saying that it was a figure. These are the 18 year old girls. They're not trying to have Bible study. I like they're trying to go out and go to live and fucking been, turn it up. Went over your head, you <laughs> listen, listen. Give me that vape. To, to the point that she's trying to make is that women need to start dating more intelligently, right, and more strategically, yeah. right. Mm. It's not going to be the most handsome guy. I think one of you said that yeah. there was a guy that was giving you money and. He was just too ugly. It's not about the most <laughs> handsome guy. It's not about the most this. It's about the guy right. who's going to rock with you. Yep. That when you're 60, 70, 80 years old, you're not working at McDonald's. Yep. You're not with a group of a whole bunch of women going on girls trips when you're freaking 60. Talking about niggas Girl ain't shit because so now that you're not 18 no more because everybody's hair is pretty young. When that beauty fades, then you're going to be looking around trying to throw your pum pum at guys because they're going to be like, yo, we're cool. Because a guy in his 50s can date a girl in the 20s, 30s, as long as he's successful, right? As long as he looks halfway good, girls are going to date him. Oh, so I was going to say, yeah, he got him an 18 year old. The he's girl, like yeah, the girl. The man in the back. The, the, Raise the, your hand if you ever dated a guy over 40 years old. I have. Mm-hmm. I didn't. It didn't last. Y'all ain't dating no I'm old so niggas? I did. I'm mad that's, that's trending right now. <laughs> Shay got all these girls scared. They like, I ain't raising my hand. They're gonna step on me. <laughs> they not gonna say that. I had a 32 year old man. I'm 21, by the way. Literally living with me for three Damn. months. As he, as he woke me up at night to kiss me goodbye and say, I'm going to the studio with my homeboys, and then went to go fuck a bitch. No. Yeah. Now, now, did he pay the? Like he lived with he you? Did he pay paid, the bills? He never paid no bills. He asked me. You had a 32 year old phone. He was yeah. asking me for money. Like, oh, I'm about to get a bunch of money. Like all of this kept promising me, and then I finally just kicked him out. Cause sound like you was better no. off with ugly. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. He wasn't even cute. You like, see? I don't know. What I I thought don't, thought nah, hell no. Ugly would have held you down. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to let y'all, but this is a good topic because this is a common mis. like, I'm not going to let y'all do that. <laughs> I know ugly niggas and these are the worst cheating ass, yeah, dog oh ass God. niggas. It's the ugly the niggas ugly will ones. dog you and cheat on you and beat your ass and leave you with nothing. Facts. I'm not saying these pretty boys don't be fuck boys because they be fuck boys. If you meet a nigga with green eyes, light skinned ass, Drake looking nigga, he's going to cheat on you. He's going to break your heart. I admit that 90% of the time. <laughs> But these ugly niggas, come on, man. You know them niggas, man. Don't get him They be the worst yeah, nigga in category. Yo, yo, but, yo, yo. but you got some ugly friends. You know they oh, be cheating sure. on their wife. For you sure. know how these for niggas sure. is, no, man. No, no, come no. On. Some of them I tell them, like, yeah, you, like, you shouldn't be doing that. But here's the thing. <laughs> and and this, is, this is a whole nother t- topic of discussion that is always sparked up. At the end of the day, I'm sure every woman in here wants a six foot five, very handsome, very in fit man to come in your life and just take everything over. The problem is all the women want. So what happens is that guy who comes in your life, if he says, hey, I'm rocking with you, you got the black car, you have the house, you have the thing, he's probably going to go slam another girl. And that's the problem where these girls get upset and like, all right, he has to go, regardless of how much money he got. But then the alternative what is go to the next guy who's broke or don't got shit or don't got nothing. And if you can live with that, then rock out with that So let's be real. You meet a guy, he's 6'5", he's handsome, he's got a fucking black card. He drives a whatever Lamborghini. He's giving you the ring. Is he? He's most he's likely to house, cheat on you, right? You everything. Is oh, that just, more likely? It's fucked up, but it's like more likely because it's like a hundred other girls that want him, right? Exactly. But you guys, like, I know how it is. You have hope and like, well, maybe I'll change that, and it does happen. Maybe you can change a man and turn him into a good man. But most likely, he's gonna cheat on you. He might have a little. Whereas, thing there, if man. you meet another guy, he could be successful with money. But he's not that attractive, exactly. and he just might be more likely. He's to the not boring cheat. accountant who's been trying to take you out that you will not give the time of day to. He's the guy that you said earlier. You were like, he can't be ugly, because I was like, would you fuck a guy with money on right. the first day? You were like, but he can't be like ugly. Exactly. No, it depends like on their personality and how we get along. So if he's ugly, but he and got a good personality, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't date him. <laughs> 
Y'all, y'all answers is killing me. Or an Aquarius. They're so funny. No, no, I just say that. Give it a couple years. Y'all know Okay, so if he's ugly but he has a good personality, you would date him. He has to be a Capricorn. No. What is a Capricorn? got So you need him to be a pretty boy. I can't be a Why not? Tell me about Capricorn. I give you guys no, ten like years. Guys. Males. Capricorn What's wrong males. with Capricorn guys? What is? Wrong? I don't like Taurus. Many things. Oh, I, I don't either. Capricorn I don't like guys are right I've never studied astrology. I don't, astrology. I don't know Taurus's nothing like about none of this. I have a lot of trauma really with Aquarius. I'm gonna pray for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, I, right I don't give a damn what your sign is. I hope is. we don't do a reunion right. twenty I think, years sign. later. I think everything is situational, man. Cause like you could meet a good looking guy. Like I'm a good looking guy. You know what I'm saying? And Who I'm told not, you that. No, you. Can't. I mean, you know, a couple of people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't no six five nigga. You, you know, I'm like six, five eleven. Five. You know, but on your height. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my five eleven. You know, but. So I think it's situational, but for the majority, the vast majority, yes. If you meet a handsome man that's very successful, he's most likely to cheat on you because the thing is, is that a lot of men who have a lot of money, they want variety. You know, let's just be honest. They want to be able to... Because they got so many... I, I mean, come on. Yes. I have a question. Everywhere you go, they trying to jump on you. It's hard to turn that down. The, so yeah, I have a question for you. So you basing it on that, these successful men that want a variety of women because they can't for some reason stick to one, do you as do you consider yourself in that spectrum of like you can't dedicate yourself to one? No, nah, like because you and know I'm, what they also say. And I'm asking because I want to know what men think when they're in that men situation. Men think with their dicks. Like with their, the con like does your conscious kick in? If let's say you have a good girl at home, yeah. cooks, cleans, does everything that you want to do, they and still you're out in the fun. club, yeah. you see just this one girl has a nice body. But you can lose it all what you have at home if she finds out. Yeah, well, I mean, mind, like, what goes through your mind in that moment? I, th I think we try to we try to hide the fact that we are human and we are naturally attracted to people. So let's say you're married or you have a girl and you love your girl and you really want to be with her and you're happy with her. And let's say you're walking down the street and you see an attractive person. You're naturally going to look at that person. People look at anything attractive as a nice car. You're going to look at it. It's not saying you're going to go steal that car. But so, yeah, you're naturally going to be attracted. So let's say I have a girlfriend and I go to the club and I see this fine ass girl. Yeah, I might notice her and look at her. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not just going to be like, I want to fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I got to if I value my relationship, then I'm going to put that before like my dick. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you asked me that question like a few years ago then I'll be like, hell yeah, I'm trying to smash everything. So it just depends on where you are mentally because you can't make a guy be ready. No matter how good of a girl you are, if he's not ready to settle down, he's not going to settle down with you. That's something he got to make. You know, and I was talking to this girl. She was telling me a story. She had a boyfriend. They was together, living together. She was kind of helping him out. He was a painter, like an artist. You know, he wasn't really, he didn't have no money. But then he came up. And then when he came up and became like this big painter and making all this money, he broke up with her and he said, I want to experience what it's like to have money now. You know what I'm saying? And, and date different girls. So, you know, it just depends on the dude. Yeah. And also like on what he was saying of the relationship, I do think of 50-50 because what's the point of also like men should be exclusive of also what they pick as their woman at home. Because the <laughs> times get rough. So when he has his downtime and if you have a girl that's just going to leave the next day, yeah. I mean, it got to be a girl that you know, like, yo, if I lose it all tomorrow, she'll still be riding with me and she'll help me. Because a lot of millionaires go broke and get it back, go broke, get it back. You know how I many stories I told? So she got to be ride or die. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She got to be ride or die. Yeah, come on in. Let's play a game. Y'all down to play a game? Yeah. Yeah. This game get crazy. You better get ready. You got to grab one of these, and then it is something written on it. It's a dare or a truth. Yeah. I'll just be the director. I got a real good one for you, Shay. I hope you get the one I want. I don't want to play. I'm just watching. <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? I can go first. All right. You go first. Name a person you date. Oh, name a person you date. A celebrity. Mm. Little Pump. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Sway Lee. Yeah, he's pretty fine. Oh, you know him? Yeah, he's like poured shots in my mouth. But oh, like, sure. he's not like, like, I don't know him like that. Like, I just been like. Have you know. ever uh, 
like dated or had sex with a celebrity? Um, I wouldn't say like celebrity like that. Who? Don't no say comment. who. You just dissed the hell no out of them. <laughs> You're not a celebrity not like celebrity. that. Like, yeah, you just played them. Like, right. why you say I wasn't a celebrity, right, bro? Right. Like, music, music, like, TV. I, I got two million like, streams, man. <laughs> yeah. music. Oh my God, Spotify plaque, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> no, but you didn't name a celebrity you want to fuck. Is it, oh, if you could oh, fuck any celebrity, no, it, I would fuck Sway Lee. But um, if I like really wanted to fuck anybody, um. Mm, I don't know. Drake is kind of cute. Why not Sway Lee, bro? Because Sway Lee's like a little bit younger. Like I think Drake has a little bit more experience. So you want straight for Drake? <laughs> every girl always says Drake here. <laughs> this is a, we need to change this to We and Drake podcast because every girl <laughs> they choose Drake on this show. <laughs> Shout out to Drake, man. <clears throat> what about you? Pick a card. I mean a block. Five keys to a long-lasting relationship. I don't know if you know the answer to that one. <laughs> <laughs> How long? Hell what's long. the longest relationship you've been in? Like fourteen months. A year, two a months. Year. Oh, that's not bad. It's mm-hmm. pretty good. I mean, have like a sustainable career that's not illegal. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Uh, you see a dope a boy? <laughs> Was this a drug dealer or? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, um, What's his name and social security number? I can't. No, <laughs> I, can't. Um, I don't know. Wait. Uh, <laughs> um, not like hang out with people that are like in a whole different age group. But like let's high let's be honest like though. All of y'all girls, a lot of y'all are single right now. If you really meet a dude right now and you really get in a relationship with him, are y'all really willing to like get rid of all y'all hoes? Stop texting I all of these dudes. Stop replying to all of these DMs. Y'all really willing to throw that away? For the right yes. one, anybody yeah. would. Yeah. I'm already what doing that now. The dick gotta be True. Yeah. You say what? What if it wasn't that good, but everything else was? Yeah. What if the sex just wasn't there? But they can be taught. You can That's teach probably them the what way you like. We'll talk to you when you're 45. Yeah, you can teach them yeah. what you like. See how you feel then. What if he know how to eat? <laughs> right. He might know how to eat good. Is that okay? What? He can, if he knows how to eat, and his mm. dick's not good. <laughs> everyone can everyone can be taught everyone can be taught what you like we might not like the I same things in the yeah. same spot same so you grade. think even a guy that's smaller down there you could teach him how to please you still i think there should be a the small it should be a cap it should be a cap <laughs> on the length you know what's the cap like um, what's the smallest well because there i was in a situation <clears throat> that didn't last because of that and it mm. was extremely extremely tiny like what like how big it was stream extremely like <laughs> it fit in her palm. Like like do it with your hand. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. No. Like with the nails. Longer, with the nails. But it wasn't too, too big. It wasn't too thick. It wasn't too big. Damn. And it, but he, he had money though. He was known. I don't know if he had money. I was young and, and he had clout. He was, yeah. He, everybody liked him, but everybody knew he had a small wee wee. So everyone knew. And I right, and Damn. when I experienced it, it just it, it literally happened one time, and I never. No, no it either. wasn't. It was it, it was too quick. Yeah. Oh. And I'm very into that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's. I have my to thing, disagree. So. I usually say it's not the size of the wave; it's the motion in the. If ocean. you have a certain size, mm. you're gonna change your mind. So mm. Have now? Have you ever experienced a big <laughs> penis? Yeah, maybe. Sometimes and you didn't like it that much, or no. sometimes they just don't know how to use it. I mean, it's I Agreed. think it uh, depends on mm-hmm. the man itself if he has like that experience. My personal experience with that little wee wee, I didn't like it. I didn't <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> the positions were terrible. I didn't. It's like it was air. It was nothing. Now <laughs> is, oh, is having a small penis better for anal? I've never had that. No. I'm a virgin in my butthole. Really? I would not do that. I'm not interested in that. Raise your hand if you like anal. Don't 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 lie. We ain't judging you here. Have fun. Like it or done it? Like it. Done it. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, raise your hand if you tried it. Okay. Everybody. I was married oh. and tried it once. You was married too? I Damn, we got some married girls in here. <laughs> <laughs> Who does it constantly here? Mm. We're like constantly like 
Yeah, I can't. Oh I can't. Constantly. It was, it was traumatizing. Oh. <laughs> Who said it was traumatizing? Damn, it was that bad. <laughs> it was. Now, was he, was he black or what was he? Uh, he's, he looks white, but he's not. He's Hispanic. Okay. Yeah. Was, so he was pretty small or? Uh, I'd say it's average. So why was it traumatizing? <laughs> no, because it just hurted. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it feels like yeah, reverse shit I don't like in a it. way. That's it's how I say it. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm good. It's just, it feels really bad. Okay. My bad. Well, oh, back to the game. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grab the choice, man. Yeah. Get back there, chill like. Okay. Let's see how I top that one. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> they got some. They got some that's not too bad for you, Shay. If it's bad, you don't gotta do it. But it might be one that's not bad. They not like crazy. Sexual fantasy. <laughs> See? Hey, man. Yeah, Pat, can we pass? I'm not going to. With those shades, you kind of remind me of R. Kelly. Because he used to wear those glasses. You resemble him. R. Kelly's the fucking king, man. Don't yeah. hang on. I mean, I'm. I can't, I can't, even, I can't even say free cows, but, you know. I, I can say it, man. Like, hey, I, I respect Lil Boosie for riding to the R. Kelly. Like, you know. I know, right? That's what I was but he said that wasn't really him. It was a fake out. Um, sexual fantasy, um, wh- which whichever girl my girl likes, just watching them make out. That'll be fantasy of mine. Uh oh, she back there listening. Yeah, back she likes. She, <laughs> <head> like, yeah. <laughs> she likes girls. So, yeah. <laughs> so now, you, so your girlfriend, she likes girls. Yeah, she likes girls. Okay. That is completely up to her. I when, when it comes to that subject matter, that is when I am not the boss. <clears throat> No, no, I didn't even know that about you guys. We have to talk, girl. I I got questions. Nah, let's talk about this. Now, now, have you guys ever brought someone in the bedroom? No, no, no. But you want to? Uh, no, I'm not saying that I want to. But if she, it's up to her. If she he walks gonna in the up. room. <laughs> they going to get in the car like, oh, so that's Answer how you do it. Answer this carefully. Answer this carefully. If she walks in the room with another girl and she says, hey, everything is all right, just follow my help. lead. I, okay, because that whatever you say, babe. that's a good topic because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A lot of people say, I mean, everybody threesomes, whatever fun, but a lot of people say if you have a threesome, it can get messy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It can get messy. I wouldn't, I've it gets messy. I know it's not in me. It gets messy. I'm too jealous. If, if you're you gotta having, be careful, you're playing with fire. It gets messy if you really like that person. No, it's his mindset. Like, if I'm dealing with a dude, I like girls too, but you have to respect me, so let me take the lead. You can't be doing on nothing, right? Look, a guy's <laughs> gonna, a guy's gonna cheat less, right? Because again, let's just hypothetically say guys want variety. So if you're the girl and you're like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to control it. You're not going to talk to this bitch. We're going to meet some girl. We're going to take her, dog her out, send her back home in an Uber. Period. And it's us. There's no communication <laughs> between you and that girl. And if there is communication, it's me and her. Never you. You can never initiate it. And again, that's just if that works for you in your relationship. I'm not even saying that it works for mine. I'm just saying if she was to bring somebody, then I'll be like, hey, what's Raise your hand if you ever had a threesome. <laughs> Like you spoke my That's relationship. Go, Wait, y'all ain't never had threesomes? I've been asked. But I haven't either. What's the big yeah. deal? I have three bodies. I've been asked, <laughs> but I you got three bodies? I have three. That's it? Well, you're only 18, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very selective. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not him. I feel like you spoke my relationship. Not him, me. Um, yeah, we've been together for like seven years and we are young. So you brought I in a girl? Yeah, it's like how you said. It gotta be. I gotta approve, and she gotta be for me. Cause girls are shy, Steve. They'll try to go behind your back. No speaking. You don't yeah. think it could be the opposite though? Like, okay, you have a threesome with your man, and like, then he'll start to think, well, I'm fucking other girls with her, and fuck it, I can fuck some other girls behind her back. I'm already no, fucking other girls. That's, that's where the communication. I mean, comes it's in clear that. that it ain't gonna happen. That's how yeah. it happened. If it's without me, like, it's without me. So what? You had a threesome, then he just kept going I mean, with it. He just basically was like, oh, I'm going to leave you if you don't have a threesome with me. And I was like, oh, I was okay. like okay, because I kind of want to try it out, but I was like, okay, but I'm not. I, it's like a lot better to have a threesome with someone like two people I don't know that well rather than someone that someone I you like. Actually like. Yeah, I hear that And a lot. it's like totally different. He did, he did not understand that. He was like, oh, when I first met you, like you had kissed this girl. And like, you know, I was like, it was just like at a club, though. It wasn't like nothing serious. It's yeah, not he wants to fuck that, other girls. And he wanted to fuck other girls. And then he did fuck other girls. Yeah. You know, it's okay, though. Was he 6'5"? He was not. He was like 6'2". Oh, he was so short. Cute. <laughs> he was not cute. What about you, Shay? What does your block say? 
<laughs> like a block at your own risk. You're going to give me the terrible music. <laughs> what is my what? Your block say. Oh, I don't like. I want to pass this block to you. Oh. Telling no, me no, no. Burn. You can choose another one. Burn. But just be careful. <laughs> no. Just careful. I can't make myself. Park for 60 seconds. Ooh, give us some music. <laughs> oh, that's never happened. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> take a shot. I don't drink. She can't drink. Next one. <laughs> I'm just going to pass him. So you get this. No, one. no, because she already saw that. Just leave him down and just put him down there. Grab another one. Grab the one at the top. Grab the one at the top. This is waiting on you. Take a shot. God damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> like, just give her some water. Thing. You want some water? Give her some water. <laughs> I well. A shot of water. All right, what's yours? Okay, let's do this like this. Anybody got a question for me on current events? Does anybody have a question? Ooh, I got a bunch for your ass. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and ask them now while I'm willing to like right. answer them. Anybody uh, now, have a question? All right, now you so, being... Okay, no, no, you, I, I don't know, because you might be messy, but go ahead. I was going to be messy, but you go ahead. What's your question? <laughs> you know right me. Here, you know I, I had one for her. do without guy. My <laughs> question is, so you, you know, you started off with Flavor Flav. So do you still have a relationship with him? No, I don't have a relationship. Every once in a while, maybe sporadically, I'll send a DM and he will. There was never a relationship. Like it a was friendship. Just a, I don't, I love Flav. I think he's funny. He's hilarious and he's smart. I mean, he was a cool guy then. He's a cool guy now. But we're not, like, friends, but we're associated with each other. Okay. Yeah. I, I said Curdy went bits, and she asked about the goddamn. She want to know, hey, Flavor man, did Flavor. she smash Flavor Flav? That's <laughs> no, the first thing you're at. You no, more messy than me, look. No, I, yeah, I did you, never. So you never smashed Flavor? No, we've never had sex, ever. Everybody was on there for TV. They were telling us back, like behind the scenes, hey, the more episodes you're on, the more relevant you will be. And you make so more you money. You have to try yeah, to stay there. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was so are business. these reality yeah. shows fake? Okay. Most of them scripted, right? It's no, it's not no. scripted. I was really pregnant. I really got issues in my relationship. Everybody really did. like it's it's realistic things. I really have a business. Like, yeah, it's not scripted. It's enhanced. It's enhanced. It's, yeah. enhanced. it's definitely enhanced. They speed up the process of what yeah. would have taken longer. If you were Gonna slap a bitch next month. You don't do I'll it tonight. I'll probably slap her tomorrow. Yeah, no, you know what I mean? You. Like, <laughs> just an example. Now, current events. I don't know if you guys know that Diddy has announced he has a new baby mama. You heard about yes. it? Congratulations. And um, she's a 32 year old Asian. Why are you pointing at her? <laughs> wait, you're not Asian? I am. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. I'm not a baby mama. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's a 32 year old Asian massage therapist. And they saying that he actually paying her three hundred k a month. Damn. 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 Now hold on, that's three. Son, where'd you find this? That's like two point eight million she, a year. She got that money, my Damn. How you feel about that, Shay? Three hundred k a month. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Seriously, Julia. Like I don't know what to say about that. It's I, every the the question everybody wants to know is like, when did this take place? Was he still dating Carisha? Is he's currently dating Carisha? Like those are the questions that's going through everybody's mind. How does she feel about it? Is she still is he still dating. dating her? They were never dating. You have to look at I the think timeline. they have a situation. Mm-hmm. That's uh, honestly, their situation. Yeah. That's what I think. They benefit each other. I no. think she yeah. no, I think she just don't care. Like he giving no. her money. No, no. she you have to look no. at the timeline. I honestly don't think she cares because she's I agree one of the, the many women that they he been with. No, 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 no. She got she had the baby in October. Do y'all remember Carisha's Carisha's show? When did when did when Diddy was on there, and you see what she said that that line that made her famous. Um, we go together. Yeah, she, she was like, "Do we?" You know, I, real I, bad. She said, "I feel like in my head that we go together." And Diddy. Was that like, mean they just fucking. But she wanted to be serious because you know what Diddy's a billionaire. Like why yeah. why I need you to be my man. Yeah. But Diddy's like, hey man, you know we just we just turning we, up. We cool. And then someone else gets pregnant because again Diddy's a high beyond high value guy. Yeah. And every woman's gonna want to have his kid. Raise your hand if you would have Diddy's baby for three hundred k a month. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't have kids, huh? Y'all well, wouldn't have a baby not, with Diddy. Not, I don't know. Just keep naming names: Drake, Chris Brown. Like someone's gonna Chris raise Brown, a hand for Drake. somebody. You see, I, it just takes the right person. It might go up take it down. I really <laughs> wanna take it see? down. We just gotta keep going through Bad Bunny. Like we're gonna hit one that you like. You see? You see? Bad you just Bunny. Gotta, you just gotta find and the Michael right B. one. Michael B. Jordan. There you Michael go. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Oh, y'all like Michael B. Why? Why are you like Michael B. Jordan? Because he's beautiful. <laughs> he's yeah. like actually beautiful. He's beautiful. 
<gasps> how dare she? First of all, how dare so she? Sad. Why nah. would she leave him? Yeah. He's beautiful. Because she wants. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, but like she wanted, he wanted to settle down, and like she was just like, no, like I don't want to do that. that I is- feel like Lori Harvey like ran through a lot more celebrities than a lot of these male celebrities. Yeah. Like she got a good list like she got michael I don't b think jordan that's the future case. i don't think who that's else the case. she got i don't know i'm not gonna name the list i don't <laughs> freaking know but i think that because she's in a public eye people set they standards for her mm. she's no different than anybody else everybody else dating moving around yeah, out here yeah, because yeah. your shit ain't public you're not a slut of horror that you ain't got strikes under your name that's not fair yeah she ain't. She's just out here living, and she wasn't ready for what he was ready for. And that's the problem. But she, <laughs> he is fine, y'all. That man yeah. is sexy. Like, ooh. but you know, they said that future said he might be ready to. You know, he want to see what it's like to walk down that aisle and. Married. How many kids? Settle down. Have again? <laughs> I think like seven. Like I just want to know seven. No, it's um, more than seven. Ten. How many, y'all? Y'all don't know. I'll it's seven. That. Two many. Nick Cannon got like twelve. Yeah, he could take care of him though. Yeah, to me, as long as you can yeah. take care of him, knock yourself out, brother. Yeah. You got money like that. You can have yeah, a lot. You good. Ain't got no problem. Would you have Nick Cannon's baby? No. Why? That's cap. <laughs> if Nick Cannon gonna get you a hundred k a month, you're not gonna do it. No. Why? Why? Yeah, he has, yeah, want, he has seven I kids. Want stability. Well, damn. Oh, you don't have kids right now. That is stability. Do. You do? Yeah, he do got stability, so I can't. What do. you mean you want stability, Nick Cannon? Like this nigga gets some stable want, as hell. Too many kids. Yeah, it's like, damn, I only get a week out the month. Nah, I can't. But it's a week in a very nice house. It's a nice (laughs) week. (laughs) Keep flying your ass to the Hamptons and Butlers and fucking Maids. It's a very nice G5. So, you know. You can be like, yeah, Mariah. Kids in the Hamptons. (laughs) Like, that week is just so rough. It's like, you can be like, yeah, Mariah, I'm fucking your ex. Yeah, I love Oh, okay. Yeah, out of respect for Mariah, yeah, you can't yeah. do that. Out of respect for Mariah. <laughs> no, for real. Not for Mariah. <laughs> right. <laughs> what does your what does your block say, um, Win? <laughs> Y'all playing safe. You can't choose one further directly from the top. God dang. Oh, this is funny. Turk your ass for thirty What's seconds. What's your body count? Ooh. Damn. Guys, girls, ain't um, nobody answering that. Girls. First, girls, three, guys. Before my man, guys. Why everybody say a three? She my said man. three too. One guy. You been with one guy Cap, your whole life? Can you play the song? <laughs> you gotta times it by three. Play the song. <laughs> you gotta times it by three, so <laughs> three to five. <laughs> oh my god. So we gonna roll with one. You rolling with one? Okay. The only one that counts. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you grab a block. Okay, I'm scared. Don't choose the top, bro. Do not knock it over. I'm gonna beat you. Talking to Mike. Talking to Mike. This I like this. Boobs or butt? Person like on girls. What do I like? But. What you like, girls or something? I do. I already yeah. So that. Be, would okay. be the butt. Yeah. So you like butt? You're a butt girl. Yeah, I'm a butt girl. So you I lick like, ass. You eat no, groceries. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I would not do that. Okay, I have a question. Have yeah. any of y'all ever peed on your partner? No. R. Kelly though. No. For real. Oh I peed on somebody and he peed on me too. We oh, were in the shower. It was <laughs> sanitary that way. Those girls want to be slutted out by their man. By my man, For I wouldn't sure. mind that. Raise your hand if you want to be slutted out by your man. Why we got to raise our hand? Because <laughs> I need we to know. We already talked about it all. <laughs> I don't want to be peed on, though. They oh, want yeah. their man that to take them fun. to their yeah. stream. Yeah. If the girl yeah. doesn't yeah. say to you, I don't know if I could do this, yeah. you're not like, asking enough. Correct. Why not? For sure. yeah. I feel that whatever you do in the bed with the woman you love and or man that you love is your business. Whatever you turns you on, man, knock yourself out, bro. What's your thing, say? Um, I got what kind of porn do you watch? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I watch public sex. Like what, balcony or like mm, where? Like anywhere. So you into that? Like yeah. public? I don't, I watch it, but I would never do it. So where's the most? Lion pe- ass. No. Pe- no. <laughs> you know you did it. Okay, wait. You're like, the I only- did it at the beach. Yeah, Everyone no, I did it. I don't like the beach because I just feel like it's very it's unsanitary. Sandy, yeah. yeah oh but I've God. done it in a public bathroom at a kid's park. Nice. Oh, oh nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now. Okay, so the craziest well, place you ever did it is a bathroom? Or what's the craziest place you ever did it? Yeah, I think the bathroom. I'm very, I, I, I get super paranoid. 
What about your your block, uh, Jada? You want to pick one? Don't knock it over. After we do the blocks, I need y'all to try my gummies, okay? Got you. Yeah, Which one we gonna do? <laughs> the top, though. You can't take one to the top. <laughs> God dang. What's your block say? How and high is your sex drive? <laughs> one to ten. Eight. Eight. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. Mine's a ten. Damn. Mine's really bad. <laughs> like how much times a day you need it from your man? Two. And so if he do one time a day, you're gonna be like, you gonna I'll feel. be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so you need two. I need two. If you like someone, it gets you hornier. Mm. Depends on the person. Yeah, it depends right. on the person. <laughs> yeah. No, I I only so do it in a relationship. I mean, if he's not getting it from me, who else is he getting it from? Yeah, facts. facts. Gotta please him too, you know. Yeah. yeah. Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to work. You gotta fuck three times I mean, a day. I just don't you got to pay. Yeah. Right? To pull her block. Yeah. I, I don't have time to fuck five times a day. I believe that. We got shit to do. For real. You know, got money to make. Give a lap dance, choose someone. Hey. 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 Round of applause for her. Round of applause. Now, I want to try some of these gummies you got, Shay. Which one are we going? All right. So, which one do you want to do? Apple cider vinegar. Are we done? I want the or sea moss. Are we finished? <laughs> the ad libs. Apple cider vinegar. Shout out to the girl giving the ad libs. Turn on Thank the, you. Turn, turn, and turn stop. on the phone. Turn on the phone. Whoever's got the phone on, turn on the phone. Whose phone is that? Like, what is that? Not mine. Whose phone is that? I thought that was her giving ad libs to the thing. <laughs> like, bitch, how many you gonna do? <laughs> but anyway, back to our regular schedule program. It's me, Shay Johnson here. Shout out to the healthy hand. Now, you guys, would you would would you prefer to try the apple cider vinegar gummies Ooh, or the, the turmeric gummies? Apple, apple cider. cider. You're the host. You're the host. You decide. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. So, Y'all say like apple cider vinegar maybe. tastes good though. It's kind of sour. It's good for, for the your wop. Yeah. Your wop. It's okay. good for. I don't have a wop though. Is it good for know, my dick? For your guests. Okay. Oh yeah. For their pH balance. Yo, is it true if you eat pineapple, like it make your nut taste good? I don't know. I'm just gonna catch you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if you eat pineapple, it makes your like <laughs> your vagina <laughs> taste better. Pineapple <laughs> increases your sperm count. Really? Does it? Yes. Why? I didn't well, know. All right, I'm finna go eat a bunch of pineapple. I didn't know that. Stop. Stop. Stay away from the pineapple. Y'all still talking about nasty stuff, ain't y'all? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can we go back to my gummies? Y'all yeah. ready to try my gummies? Yeah, let's try it. So I'm gonna have you do it first. You but you need me to help you open it. My nails are sharp. Wow. Oh, no, just op- just twist it open. I already did the main twist it stuff. Open, twist, just it open. twist it open. Twist it open, sir. Open, yeah. Twist it open, sir. Oh my god. Yeah. Basic yeah. instructions. Superman. So who got nails? Uh, I got Let me see that. We don't uh-uh, want your uh-uh. lips on it. You st- uh-uh. Now you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to touch the top. Everybody want to try it without your spit all around the edges. Okay, there we go. Okay. Mm, smell good too. So. Let me turn this around before you try this. These are my apple cider vinegar gummies. And I've heard some horror stories on apple cider vinegar gummies. The smell, how they taste, how they look. So these are mine. The healthyhand.com is where you can purchase them today. So go ahead and try one and pass it down. And I want your honest try opinion. It. If try you don't it. like it, say that. I'm excited. Try Y'all ready? If you don't like it, tell me. So I'm, a, I'm about to try the apple Shea cider Johnson, vinegar. Apple cider Ace vinegar is from the healthyhand.com. The healthyhand.com. I'm going to tell y'all how it tastes. I'm going to be honest. I ain't going to be honest. Rate it from ahead. 1 to 10. You said it smelled good. Go so. ahead. Pass it Go down. Pass, pass it, it down. Stop being greedy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you rate it? One it do th- taste good, though. It just it tastes, tastes like good. a gummy. Yeah, cool. like it don't taste like medicine. It was tastes like medicine. Yeah, it tastes like a gummy. So yes, um, I went through several companies to find the one good. that I like because some had a bad smell, had a bad taste. Yeah, yeah. Someone's just too much vinegar to me in there, mm-hmm. apple cider vinegar. And people take the gummies to try to take. She's stay checking away from like, that, yo, does this have acid taste. in it? No, <laughs> <laughs> it's not drugs. No, I, I like the milk. texture of them. It's very. Yeah, it's no milk in there. For... So these are vegan. 
Yeah, they they don't have any type of animal products at all. Okay, that's even better plant. Do you guys like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. You I like, like the texture it? of it. Yeah. I like like the I could eat them just yeah. like on some gummy shit, like yeah. just for candy. Well, I'm glad yeah. you like them. Or you can also find the turmeric gummies, sea moss right. gummies. Let me eat one of them too. Moss capsules. Is there a cap on how many you can eat at a time? Or yes, how I always tell people to take at least two a day. We could take up to four, but I tell people that's two. Good. Two like uh, so each like different so kind. Or like I haven't found one person. And that don't like my gummies. How you like mm. them? They're good. How That's good. Like, yeah. you like the gummies? How you like them, man? Little eighteen year old. Oh, if anybody say they don't like them, they gonna get beat good. up. Now play. <laughs> not true. No, That'd be I fucked like, up if one girl was like, "I don't like this. This not for me." You be mad. <laughs> you don't taste no vinegar in it. Exactly. Yeah, it don't. tasted really good. Yeah. 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 It tastes like a normal gummy. Y'all like it okay. on the couch? These are great. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Shay Johnson has the best apple cider vinegar gummies. Oh, yeah. 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 Go get them right yeah. now. Thank you. Go oh, to my gosh. website, thehealthyhand.com. So I'm it's glad y'all like them. No, it's, it's worth it, good. right? Yeah. Don't play with me. Don't, Don't play, play with, with me. Anybody Don't want some with. weed gummies? I, I ain't win them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try one. Oh, that's just one. Song. These are mine, I thought. Uh -uh. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pot so you're down for the weed I love you, too. Damn, you that's had a whole handful of them bitches. Some, since we've been dropping knowledge on the apple cider vinegar, mm. if you ladies feel like, you know, after sometimes you have sex with the guys because you guys are younger, that you're not getting as wet or something's off, you need to bring your pH balance mm -hmm. back. Apple cider vinegar. So wait, so a, a, a bad pH balance can make your pussy not get wet? It can make it dry, yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. Or you can yes. yes. Raise your hand if you have a wet pussy. Apple. Especially if you eat these gummies. That is none of your business. That's none of your <laughs> business. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, if someone didn't We're have a wet pussy, sexually. like, would they even admit it? They yeah, yeah facts. They wouldn't admit it. Wop, wop, wop. No, you can't do that. <laughs> apple cider vinegar. I'm glad you guys liked it. Thank you very much. Follow me on Instagram. I am Shay Johnson and the Healthy Hand underscore. I wonder why, like. Like, why day. my dick don't get wet? Wouldn't that be cool? Like, if guys, like, if our <laughs> dick could get wet, now this shit that would make it a lot easier. Then you wouldn't have to lube up. Y'all ever thought of that? That means no. that maybe you haven't had the best sex because guys. So what is no, pre I'm saying by theory, like you so know, what like pre cum considered right? being. Exactly. Yeah. But pre cum doesn't like it's wet lubricate. Stuff. It's way uh, too No, it does. It definitely pre -cum does. Pre-cum lubricate? Yes. yes. It does. It does. That's a lot of cum if it's going like no, a drop. No, like a little People bit. don't produce that much. It just depends on the Depend on how much pre-cum, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. guys do get wet. Pre-cum. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, How much is but pre cum would just be supposed to be a drug? I mean, even if it's a little bit, it's still, uncircumcised penises. I don't know. I don't you know. said it only happens to uncircumcised. The penises. one with the hood, you know. Oh, <laughs> it pops yeah, out whenever. I mean, have y'all you know. ever had sex with a guy who's not circumcised? I have. I'm not gonna yeah, uh, I don't. I don't Raise your hand if you ever had sex with a guy who's not circumcised. Me. One. Sometimes I forget the difference, so I don't really pay attention. But it's like if the skin. I feel like it's like a pretty obvious difference. I don't know. Like. I don't There's examine it. No, oh. but it's like really you obvious should. if he's no, circumcised. It is. It is. And that's our show for today, guys. I want to send a special Thank thanks to Shay Johnson for coming to the show. Woo. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Proud of you for doing your thing and just like empowering the culture and community and with your products and doing something different and awareness. And I want to thank Julian for coming, man. Shout out to you. You guys taking time out of your schedules. And I want to thank all these beautiful, lovely models that came through. Whoa. All their links will be in the description. All the websites, everything. Check everything out. But before we get out of here, I got to ask y'all, where we at? We, we in Miami. Miami. We in Miami. We in Miami.